a night better suited perhaps to be in a ski lodge somewhere, but we're at Coors Field in Colorado. Here it's the little guys on the big stage between the Columbus Clippers and the Sugarland Skeeters. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome your Sugarland Skeeters. Justin Verlander, a Virginia-born right-hander, gets the ball to start this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, everyone knows he's one of the game's elite pitchers, so if you like good pitching, you're in for a real treat. Not many other guys compare, and the thing I enjoy the most about him is the confidence that he exudes when he's out there. Trust me, he doesn't lack it. And the opposing hitters, they feel it when they're standing in the box against him. Stepping up is Gabriel Arias. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Fouled away. And it'll be important to stay warm tonight. A chilly 44 degrees here at first pitch. One and two. Here it comes. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. I might have been right, sitting exactly. on an off-speed pitch, no, but instead he gets the fastball way late had no chance to put that ball in play in now Tyler Krieger hit on the ground out for short he's right there throw on the first and Verlander's got it going here two away and now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matty, you walk into this yard today, and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that could work against you at times. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan and know that a mistake doubles leaving this yard. Into the box now, oh. Nolan Jones. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Just underway here in Denver. Ball Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Base hit into right center. This will kick up against the wall now. And he will pull into second with a two out double. It's always nice to get something cooking in the first inning, even with two outs. Now your cleanup man steps to the plate and has a chance to drive in the first run of the game. Stepping in now, Josh Naylor. Smoke toward the hole. And that's through into right field for a base hit. He'll come home with it. But this won't be in time as he's well safe and the run scores. What a frustrating inning from a pitcher standpoint, dear. You get the first two out of the inning, the next guy doubles, and then you give up a two out base hit to drive in a run. Yeah, you want to talk about on the complete flip side firing up an offense. You see your two boys go down, two quick outs. You mix in a gapper right there. Double finds himself on second base. And he's able to come through. Next guy's able to come through oh, with a big two out knock. Two balls and a strike now. Naylor is off a of first with two away. To two and two now. Two balls. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. 
If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. Hard bullet single to left field on a pitch that was kind of middle down in the zone, D. Rowan. He's going to have to make some better pitches than that. Yeah, if he's going to leave pitches over the heart of the plate, he's going to have a long night. The middle of this order does serious damage. At the plate, George Valera. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Giancarlo Mejia, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan, any thoughts? This guy has a three-pitch mix, and he needs all three of his pitches. If he has them all working and uses them properly, he has a chance to be very effective. Now to the plate, here is Ross Adolph. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. One, one. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here comes the one two. This is line to left that gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Hey d -roll, this looks like it could be a high scoring affair. The second team team. comes up now and they've got oh, something man. brewing in the bottom of the first. Good. Yeah 100 oh, percent. Anytime you put that leadoff batter on base that spells disaster for the pitcher. You don't know you can work the bunt hit and run. Steal. Oh I forgot they don't bunt or hit and run anymore. So now to the plate, Marwin oh, Gonzalez. Two balls and a strike to count. A runner at first with no outs here. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 2-2. Two -two. fouled away. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. A payoff pitch one more time. And he fouls this one off. This is indeed a battle. The 11th pitch coming up. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Really good late bite on that slider right there. That the best hurt. ones have that late that action hurt. that just darts at the last Money. minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. Yeah. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. the plate now Ronnie Dawson there's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike your eyes light up from the offensive side playing in a hitters park like this have to get the ball up to do some damage I'm not mad at that tape on the ground to the right side and that finds its way through for a base hit the throw to third and he'll move up to third now runners at the corners here with one away that is cool you don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them. 
drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment and able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Into the box, Taylor Jones. Line toward the gap in left center. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that will get one, if not both of them home. The relay throw to third now, but he's safe as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. This is an easy decision for him to try for third because he has the play right in front of him, so he doesn't have to rely on any of his base coaches. Good decision to keep chugging, and he makes it all the way around safely. To the plate now, number 13. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And add a run on the sacrifice fly as that'll make this a three to one game. One of the things you want to do as an offense, right, is stay fundamental and keep pushing. A great job there. Sack fly pushes the third run across in this inning. So no one on now after the sack fly. And next it'll be the outfielder, Jordan Brewer. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So they pick up three runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left on base. Second inning upcoming here in Denver. The Skeeters are out on top, three to one. Second inning set to go, and standing in is the DH, Ernie Clement. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. Fouled off. Another 1 2 delivery. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. Standing in now, Ryan LaVarnway fouled away. One out, nobody on. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really that sharp out there, guys. The second base. Stepping in now, Aaron Bracho. And nope, look out. Four. That's in very tight, and it's ball four. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, but he would have needed a telephone pole to hit that thing way out of the zone. Next to hit is Gabriel Arias looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. <laughs> And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. A good fastball that backed him off the plate. And then some slow stuff down and away. That's one of the... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. It'll be Preyudis Nova. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. And a swing and a miss. Does that look like self-defense there? It's two and two. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. 
swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? Batting he in. fell behind 2-0 to start hitter. the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but Garcia. then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. So now to the plate, oh, Robo right Garcia. Ball taken there, 2-1 and one now. Could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Jones backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Batting done. The catcher. Get ready. Stubbs. Now to bat, Garrett Stubbs. Bases are empty here with two men out. Popped up. Jones has a play, and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway, and set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Tyler Krieger. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. At the plate now, Nolan Jones. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. The 2 1. Lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. And he is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as now this is swung on and missed eight. for the second out. John Naylor. Into the box, Josh Naylor. And he fouls this one off. Third inning here. Three to one our score. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. The two two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Fouled off. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Two out, nobody on. Popped him up. Jones in foul ground. 
And the inning is over. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Skeeters lead it three to one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Ross Adolph. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3 1 count. The ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that, though. Now to the plate, Marwin Gonzalez. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Still two and two. Adolph on at first. Nobody out. On they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was now really that. well executed. No, that a classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Into the box now, Ronnie Dawson. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Runner at first here, one man out. Shin high fastball that time ball three and he lays off here a nice job it's ball four first and second now with one away. Yeah, the pitching coach would now hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Next, it'll be Taylor Jones. Two RBIs already, looking for more here. and two strikes here's the pitch hit down the third baseline and this will stay inside the third base bag a fair ball he pulls into second safely as also on the play a run comes across to score wow you gotta love this aggressive swing here gets the barrel of the bat out in front of the ball and just rips it down the left field line absolutely no play on that ball the second it left the bat nice job picking up the runner to the plate now number 13 get on the ground to third and that's the oh. second out now batting left fielder Jordan Brewer next to dig in Jordan Brewer struck out in his last trip to the plate And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Second and third, two away. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. We're through three here in Denver. It's now four to one. All set for the start of the fourth. And digging in is the outfielder, Daniel Johnson. And the pitch. Ball in. Hey. 
That's ball Not free. close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Grounded to short. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Digging in will be George Valera. Struck out in his first at-bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Well, they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. Fouled away. Here he comes again, one, two. Bouncer to the left side, scooped up. Throw gets him, two He's down. down. Yeah, Next will be the designated hitter, Ernie Clement, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The one and two pitch. Three. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. So nothing happening this time around. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Skeeters are out on top, four to one. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping up as the shortstop, Freyudis Nova. Oh. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Can't find oh, the zone there, count. and it's three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Hey, boys, he's lucky he's getting his pitch back right here. That's normally a wipeout pitch down and away. He hung that one. It looked like he almost confused the hitter. Hit to short, and that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. The batter, number three, designated hitter, Rupert Garcia. Here's a look over to first, and the runner back. Standing in now, Robo Garcia. A high fastball is in there. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Johnson has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. Now batting. Catcher. Get ready. Stepping in once again is Garrett Stubbs. He popped out in his first trip. Nova leads off first with one away. Yeah. Now ball and two strikes now. That misses and we're even at two and two. He 
he's ready now. The pitch hit on the ground down the first baseline. He dives, but he can't make the catch. It's a foul ball. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, the and by the field. time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Now out of the dugout comes the manager as he'll make his way towards the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So a less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much earlier than anticipated. Daniel Espino answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. So now to the plate, Ross Adolph down the left field line and deep. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. A runner on first with two away. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw in time and the side is retired. One hit, one left. We played four full. The Skeeters lead it four to one. And now, Ryan LaFarnway struck out in his first at bat. Here now, the 2 2. We got full count. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? It's a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls now to lead off the fifth inning. Base. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Show some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. In now, Aaron Bracho. On, he pops it up. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Here comes the one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Boy there's the perfect pitch right there. The straight change of he hadn't used it yet in this at bat. And what does he do. He uses it pulls the string and gets the big strikeout. Next to stand in is Gabriel Arias. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. That ball and he lays off this one down and in for ball two. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Hit hard on the ground to the right. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Hey, after starting the game 0 for 2 with two punch outs, that single had to feel good right there. Nice piece of hit. Stepping in now, Tyler Krieger. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And now it'll kick around in the corner. Second run is across as well, and they've cut this to one at four to three. When this one left the bat, the pitcher was hoping and praying it would go foul, and I thought it might, but it ends up falling just inches inside the line, going for a double and driving in two.
at the plate. Nolan Jones misses ball two. Here now the 2-2. And it's fouled away. Hits are even right now at five aside. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw in time at first for round number two. Now that the first baseman, Josh Naylor. Next to hit, Josh Naylor trying here to plate the tying run from second. Two out here and a runner at second. Hit in the air down the right field line. The right fielder is on the run. He's got it as the tying run is left on base. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Skeeters are out on top, four to three. Bottom of the inning now, and into bat next, the utility man extraordinaire Marwin Gonzalez. Fly ball out to straightaway left. Krieger comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Now got it. Center Digging fielder. in next, Ronnie Dawson. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1 1 home it is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Now back, the first baseman, Taylor. Jones. At the plate now, Taylor Jones. Sliced hard on the ground, and that gets through for a one-out base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Boy, is that a thing of beauty right there. Hit and run to perfection, d -Row. Runners at first and third. That's exactly what you're trying to do. You don't see it in today's game too much. There's a lot of moving parts, a lot of walks, homers, and strikeouts. But right there, manager sets it in motion, and the hitter just executes the perfection. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. With one out and runners on the corner, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. And he oh, misses with it, ball four. Oh, oh. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. That's a big no-no. He now obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not no want to walk him to load the bases. Now no he's really way. got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. So now to the plate, Jordan Brewer. No hits to this point. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Standing in now for Udi Snova. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come into score. And this is a great example of what happens when you can't find the strike zone. The first walk of the inning looked harmless enough, but this one brings a runner home. Self-inflicted wounds are always the hardest to swallow. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Robo Garcia. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. The set and the 1-1. One -one. Too high. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. And he 
fouls this one off. The 2-2 pitch. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Here's the payoff pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. He set the payoff pitch. And another foul ball. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. Another one sent foul. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Man, when you're trailing, you hate to give up any runs, but walking one in is especially painful. Now the lead is extended, and a base hit could blow the lid right off this thing. And now here is Garrett Stubbs, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Nova at second, Garcia at first, two out in the inning. Swung on and missed. One and two now. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. Boy, this has been a different guy in the fifth inning. First four innings on cruise control. Fifth inning, nothing seems to be able to work. He needs to find that focus back. He set the 2-2. Two -two. And this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full 3-2. and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Heading out towards shallow right. He's under it, and that ends the inning. So they wind up with two in the inning, but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Skeeters lead it six to three. Top half of the sixth about to get started and standing in the outfielder Daniel Johnson. The 2 2. Left side but well foul. Swing and a liner. He will make the catch while ranging backward as he just put the glove up and hauled it in for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Next up is George Valera. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. And it misses three and one now. Ernie Clement will be next. The 3 1. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Throw on to first, two gone. The batter, the designated hitter, Ernie Clement. Stepping in, Ernie Clement, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he will strike him out. 
10 now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Ross Adolph. So the count swells to three and one. Marwin Gonzalez is on deck. Thought it was ball four, but it's in there. Three and two. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. up the middle and that's a base hit so the pressure is on to open up the inning nice execution right there Dan kept his front shoulder in kept no his hands Number inside nine. the baseball ripped Second the base hit up the middle and if you're a pitcher away. right there you can't get discouraged Good. sometimes oh, even when you make a good pitch the ball is going to find a hole somewhere that would right up the middle. Into the box, Marwin Gonzalez. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. From the stretch. Hit back toward the mound. A step on the bag for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Now Good pitch on the ground field. ball there, and an even better job up the middle to take it himself and turn two. Pretty smooth. At the plate now is Ronnie Dawson. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. Now the one and one pitch is looked nope. at for ball number two. The count is two and one. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. Full count now, three and two. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. And he swings here and sends one in the air deep down the right field line. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Wow, when you're swinging the bat like he is, you want the game to go to extra so you can get some more ABs. That's his third hit of the game, and his swing just keeps getting better and better. Almost hit that one out of here, but he'll take a double anytime. At the plate now, Taylor Jones. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. And he gets there, makes the running play, and that ends the inning. Pedro Baez is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. For the Skeeters, number 52, Pedro Baez. Now with the plate is Ryan LaVarnway. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Now that second base. Digging in, the Aaron. switch hitter, Aaron Bracho. He went down on strikes last time up. 
Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush ball. a heater right here. And that's taken up two and in for ball strike. two. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's two balls two and two strikes two now. Strike. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty changeup away. Is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. Had the weight back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Here now the 2-2. And he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start the this back, inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So now to the plate, Gabriel Arias. No contact there, and it's one and two. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. That's a ball. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Misses inside and the counts run full now. Three and two. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a three-two count. With the three-run lead, no one on base. This is the perfect situation to do. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire Ladies the side. Please join us for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Nick Sandlin will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 52, Nick Sandlin. So here is number 13. He hit a sack fly earlier. The 1-1. One, one. This is line to left, but he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Now batting, the left fielder, Jordan Brewer. Next, here is Jordan Brewer. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. One and one, here it comes. And here's a pitch one swung ball. on and missed two one and two now. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. That's a ball. Lays off the one two changeup and he's worked it back two, two, to two yep. and two. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. Here now the 2 2. Again, he sends it out of play. I know that fastball registered at about 92 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push the throttle and pull it is being used.
strikeout here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget thus far four strikeouts. Wow he's just a lost no cause in this one. one. That's the fourth Short time off. he struck out in this Ray game Rudy. alone and that's not something no you'll problem. forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. At the plate for Yudis Nova. Swing and a looper to left. Here comes a left fielder, but he won't get there. It falls in. The batter, number three, designated hitter. Into the box now, Robo Garcia. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. The one two lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Skeeters are out on top, six to three. Hinoli Paredes has been summoned now from the bullpen as he'll do Skeeters, so to start the eighth. Number 48. And no lead. Ready to begin the eighth. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Tyler Krieger. One one home. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Well, you got to love a live young arm. He's got an electric now fastball. Third and if he can learn to harness that no and work in his solid no. secondary stuff, he's going to have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. In now, Nolan Jones. On that fastball is too much for him there. One this. and two. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. And it's another kick. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these now guys in this one. The, the bullpen has looked sharp and have backed Josh. up a nice effort turned Ooh. in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Now that brings up Josh Naylor, and they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. The 2-2. Two -two. Daniel Johnson would be next. Looped out toward third. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Well, when you're winning a game this late, the last thing you want to do is give the other team some open. That's what this air does. They have a base runner and a chance to make some noise now. Now at the plate, here is Daniel Johnson. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big hitting on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Very weakly on the ground. Hit 
pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. So it's no runs on no hits. One error and a runner left stranded. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Skeeters lead it six to three. Ben Krause is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 41, Ben Krause. Into the box, Garrett Stubbs. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. No, no offer on that. that one. Two balls and a strike. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Now the 2-1 pitch. Full count, three balls and two strikes. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Lifted the other way out to left center. Center fielder on the run, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now batting, the right fielder. Adolph. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Ross Adolph, singled in his last at bat. Two and two. I got to count. Two and two. Two, two. And he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. The batter, number nine. Second baseman. Marwin. So the next to bat will be Marwin Gonzalez. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. The 1 1. He's in there for strike number two. Hey, find a way right here. Two outs. This guy has come in throwing bullets. If he can get this team into the dugout right here with another donut and they regroup, start passing the baton a little bit. We got And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Andre Scrub comes on from now the pen, hoping to finish this one here. off here in the top Number of the ninth. 70. Andre. So now here is George Valera. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against a closer. Three two pitch. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Stepping in now, Ernie Clement. Weak grounder down the line at third. Oh, and no time to get him at first. Not with his speed, and that'll go down as an infield single. So now into the box is Ryan LaVarnway. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it. So he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Valera over at second. Clement at first with no outs. To two balls and two strikes now. 
Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making them work for this one. Struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Yeah, third strikeout of the game for him. And this one, he was way off balance and out in front of that curveball. He's had no answer for the pitching he's faced in this one. And I'm not sure he's too happy with himself right now. Plate now, Aaron Bracho smoked on the ground up the middle. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Wow, this manager must be pulling his hair out. Not only does he have to deal with this pitcher walking people, now he's got to deal with his defense tripping all over themselves. Base is full now following the error. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Gabriel Arias. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Softly hit down to third. Likely no shot at two. Gonzalez for one. One's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Well, they really didn't have a shot at turning two on the high chopper. They only get one, and that allows the runner from third to score. Up next, Tyler Krieger. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Runners on first and third, two away. Inside and low, two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. I always remember John Smoltz telling me the greatest asset a closer can have is short-term memory. And this situation calls for it right here. He's got to forget that he has any traffic on a base pass and just attack the zone. Chopped weakly to the left. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Hit back toward the mound. And he delivers with two outs in the ninth. It's a base hit. And that's going to bring in the run from third. And just like that, it's back to a one-run ball game. Hey, with that base hit right there, that's his third yeah. run batted into the game. Yeah, he's the reason, Dan, they're even in this one to begin with. He's kept his team together with a great approach, finding his third RBI of the day. Rafael Montero gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Montero. Into the box, Nolan Jones. A little bit outside, two and one. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Lifted down the line in left. And it's a foul ball. Big spot. Two out, possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. And he tracks it down. And this ball game is over. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hit. Runs on the board. 
key pitching and defense in certain spots this one was a fun one to watch and tonight's one run game comes to an end six to five the final Sugarland jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back Justin Verlander is the winning pitcher of record Giancarlos Mejia couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Fleszak and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the new website the show.com Seven hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 25 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.